He demands that the government take immediate action to address the problem before it worsens. At the same time, Rip is handling the aftermath of the wolf attacks on the ranch, while Jamie Dutton, the family's lawyer-turned-politician, finds himself entangled with market equities. In his interactions with Sarah Atwood, a representative from the company, Jamie begins to drift closer to their side, a development that will have significant consequences for the Dutton family. Beth, always a force to be reckoned with, becomes embroiled in a physical altercation in a bar when a man makes a move on Rip. She smashes a bottle over his head, landing herself in jail. This incident sets the stage for further conflict between Beth and her brother Jamie. In the fourth episode, after Beth is released from jail, she notices something unexpected during a ride home with Jamie. A baby's car seat in the back of his car. This discovery enrages Beth, who realizes that Jamie has a son, a secret he has kept from the entire family. The sibling rivalry between Beth and Jamie, already fraught, now escalates to dangerous new levels, with Beth vowing to take Jamie's son away from him. Back on the ranch, the Duttons are dealing with multiple losses. They hold a solemn burial for Monica's baby, and the horse Carter accidentally killed while Rip reassures John that the wolves attacking their cattle have been dealt with in a way that ensures no one will find out what happened. Meanwhile, Jamie's relationship with Sarah Atwood deepens, leading to an intimate encounter. Unbeknownst to Jamie, Beth is spying on them and she uses the opportunity to gather more information about Sarah, discovering that she is using a fake identity, an advantage Beth plans to exploit. The fifth episode marks a return to tradition with the Dutton's annual cattle branding event. John, despite his position as governor, is determined to remain involved in the ranch's operations. He turns the branding into a political spectacle, showcasing the importance of Montana's ranching heritage. It's a classic move from John, blending tradition with political maneuvering. Beth, however, is less concerned with political optics and more focused on those she sees as potential threats. She grows increasingly suspicious of Summer, an environmentalist who has been working closely with John. Though Rip advises Beth that Summer isn't part of their world, Beth insists on keeping a close eye on her. Even going so far is to join the Cowboys on a ride to ensure that Summer isn't plotting anything. This tension culminates in a fist fight between Beth and Summer during a family dinner, a confrontation that reveals the extent of Beth's mistrust. Episode 6 offers a brief respite from the unrelenting drama, with the Dutton family enjoying a peaceful day riding together. However, this calm is short-lived. Trouble brews when a military force arrives at the Broken Rock Indian Reservation and begins killing stray dogs, much to Moe's shock and horror. It's a disturbing and unexpected turn of events, adding a layer of unpredictability to the already tumultuous season. Back at the ranch, Monica and Summer, two women from vastly different backgrounds, share a surprisingly quiet moment while peeling potatoes. Their bonding offers a rare glimpse of calm in a season filled with conflict. Meanwhile, Rip and the cowboy spend the evening drinking and sharing stories, but tragedy strikes when one of John's closest friends, Emmett, passes away in his sleep under the stars. Although Emmett's death is peaceful, it serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life, even for those who seem unshakable. As the seventh episode unfolds, the tension between Jamie and the rest of the Dutton family reaches a boiling point. Sarah Atwood presents Jamie with a plan to modernize the ranch, and Jamie, fully under her influence, eagerly agrees. Meanwhile, Monica continues to try to understand Beth's abrasive nature. In a rare moment of vulnerability, Beth opens up to Monica about the loss of her own child, revealing a deep source of her pain. On the ranch, the discovery of a group of stillborn bison calves signals the potential spread of disease, a disaster that could force the Duttons to kill their cattle or relocate the herd. Beth, ever the strategist, proposes a bold business move, selling the ranch's beef directly to consumers. It's a solution that could bring much-needed income, but the challenges facing the ranch remain immense. The mid-season finale delivers on all the build-up, with Jamie finally making his move against John. He addresses the Montana State Assembly, calling for an investigation into John's decision to place the ranch land in a conservation easement, a move Jamie believes will lead to his father's downfall. John, for his part, is already working to counter Jamie's power play, 
reminding those around him that the real issue at hand is the pipeline threatening the land, not his conservation efforts. Beth, furious over Jamie's betrayal, confronts him in one of the season's most explosive moments. She breaks into his home and assaults him, smashing a rock over his head before issuing an ultimatum. Resign, or she'll expose his involvement in the murder of his biological father. Jamie, now emboldened by his alliance with Sarah, retaliates by warning Beth that if she goes public, John will also be implicated. The sibling rivalry, which has always been at the heart of the show, reaches a dangerous new high as the two prepare for an all-out war. In a chilling final move, Jamie approaches Sarah and asks whether it's possible to hire someone to kill Beth. The fact that Jamie is even considering such an extreme option underscores just how far the tension between him and Beth has escalated. What began as a family feud has now become a life-or-death situation. Yet, amidst the chaos, there is a glimmer of hope for Monica. After enduring so much heartache, she begins to find her footing once again. She and Casey start discussing their future, and it appears they are finally ready to embrace life on the ranch together, signaling a potential shift toward healing and rebuilding. As Yellowstone barrels towards its final episodes, the stakes have never been higher. The Dutton family, torn apart by internal conflict and external threats, is on the brink of collapse, with the future of the ranch and the family itself hanging in the balance. Predictions about the last run Once seen as the loyal and mild-mannered son, Jamie Dutton has undergone a significant transformation in Season 5. No longer content to live in the shadow of his father, Jamie's ambitions have grown, and with the help of Sarah Atwood, he is planning his most audacious move yet, impeaching John from his position as governor of Montana. Jamie's simmering resentment toward his family has been building for years, and now with Sarah whispering in his ear and his political skills sharpened, he is ready to strike. John's controversial decisions, such as pardoning Summer Higgins and his ongoing clashes with market equities, have given Jamie the ammunition he needs to justify his actions. A successful impeachment would mark Jamie's ultimate betrayal and solidify his own power. As tensions escalate, it seems more likely that Jamie's plan could come to fruition. Then there's Sarah Atwood, who has positioned herself as one of the most dangerous players in the Dutton family saga. While Jamie may believe that he is in control of their alliance, it is clear that Sarah is using him to further her own agenda. Her involvement with Jamie is not based on any personal loyalty or genuine interest. Instead, she is working to dismantle the Dutton family from the inside. As an operative for market equities, Sarah's primary goal is to weaken the Duttons, and Jamie is nothing more than a pawn in her game. Theories are circulating that once her mission is complete, Sarah will discard Jamie without a second thought, leaving him vulnerable and possibly broken. Jamie may think he has the upper hand, but Sarah's betrayal could ultimately be his undoing. Next up, Beth Dutton has never been one to sit idly by, and Jamie's latest betrayal, plotting to hire an assassin to eliminate her, is a step too far. The rivalry between these siblings has always been fierce, but now it has escalated to a point of no return. Beth has already suggested that she is willing to send Jamie to the train station, a place where the Duttons dispose of their enemies. And if she discovers his plan to kill her, it is almost certain that she will strike first. Beth's sharp instincts and relentless determination have kept her ahead of Jamie up to this point, and the tension between them is now at a breaking point. The only question that remains is who will make the first move and whether Jamie will survive the impending confrontation. A particularly compelling theory among fans suggests that the future of the Yellowstone Ranch may involve a merger with the Broken Rock Reservation. With Tate being part Native American and part Dutton, he is uniquely positioned to unite both worlds. As the story progresses, it seems possible that the Dutton legacy could be preserved through this symbolic merging of communities. John Dutton's complex relationship with Thomas Rainwater and the reservation has been a key theme throughout the series. While the two men have often been at odds, they share a mutual respect for the land and its preservation. If John's death leads to instability within the family, Tate could serve as a bridge between the Duttons and the Native American community, offering a potential resolution that honors the ranch's heritage. There is also speculation that the Yellowstone Ranch could be transformed into a national park or nature reserve. 
Given John Dutton's deep connection to the land and his desire to protect it from corporate interests like market equities, turning the ranch into a public trust would be a fitting way to ensure its survival. Though the Dutton family may lose control of the land, this outcome would align with John's values and his lifelong mission to safeguard the ranch's legacy. Now, Casey Dutton has always been caught between two worlds, his loyalty to his family and his desire to live a quieter life outside the chaos of the Dutton Ranch. Following Monica's tragic miscarriage, there is speculation that her potential death could push Casey to finally walk away from his family for good. Monica has endured significant trauma throughout the series, and if she were to die, it could be the catalyst for Casey to abandon the Duttons and focus on building a life with his son, Tate, on the reservation. Casey's vision quest, in which he foresaw the end of us, has been a lingering source of tension, and if that vision involves Monica's death, it could mark the end of Casey's ties to the Dutton family and the ranch. One of the more intriguing fan theories involves Walker, the cowboy with a mysterious past, potentially being Jamie's half-brother. If Rip, John's most loyal enforcer, uncovers this connection, it could lead to a major confrontation between Rip and Walker. Rip has always been fiercely protective of the Dutton family, especially John, and if Walker's connection to Jamie is revealed, it could spell the end for the wandering cowboy. Walker's fate has been uncertain for some time, and this theory suggests that his time may finally be running out. So with all these theories that have yet to turn into reality, there's no way the Yellowstone universe won't continue. How will fans find their answers? Whether it's a spin-off or a season 6, they're gonna get what they want. After all, it's in the hands of Sheridan himself. If you liked this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next one.